Have you ever heard of the Asakusa district in Tokyo? Today, I am sharing with you a day in one of the most traditional places in the city, where you can rent a kimono, visit one of the most famous temples in Japan, try delicious food, or enjoy some hidden gems that are completely free and a must to visit in your next trip to Tokyo. Although this university is not exactly in Asakusa, you can reach it in just 23 minutes with the bus 26 and then visit one of the most beloved animals in the country. Today we came to a very special place that is Tokyo University to visit something that I really want to check it out a while ago. I really told Shizun that I was trying to not cry. <laughs> oh, is it just so cute? Oh my god, I'm dying here. So for those who haven't watched the movie Hashiko, it's about this incredible dog who wait patiently for his master for all his life. And uh, unfortunately, I'm not gonna spoil you, so you should check it out. But if you know what is the story about, this statue is very meaningful because yeah, we are together. <laughs> I'm just, this is so beautiful. So yeah, this is located in the Tokyo University and as you can see there is absolutely no one around so seems like because it's a little further, it's in the Ueno area some people might don't know, might don't come by or maybe they don't didn't watch the movie <laughs> but for those who watch the movie and get so sentimental with dogs like I am this is a must place to visit, so beautiful This statue was actually the second statue created in honor to Hashiko. The first one is in Shibuya Station. As you know, there is even a Hashiko Gate, Hashiko Bus, Hashiko Plaza, all dedicated to him. And this is the second statue. It's in honor to his anniversary. Despite the modernization of many places in Tokyo, Asakusa remains until now as one of the most traditional districts of the city, where you can visit Tsunsoji, the most famous temple in Tokyo, rent or buy a kimono, and enjoy a walk or a traditional rickshaw tour through its beautiful streets. This is a little recap of our day and night around the district. I have seen people eating this all over this area and there is always like a huge line but seems like around 4 p.m. there is almost no one and the most popular dessert here is the kakegawa green tea brulee it's like a cream brulee made of matcha in a crepe also oh yeah it has gold on top pretty nice let's try it out Yeah. 
Oh, it's really good. So it has matcha, but it also has a lot of uh, whipped cream. Whipped cream. I'm not a huge fan of whipped cream, to be honest. Um, but the matcha tastes really good, and the surrounder is all like like a very thin crepe. Like a crepe cone with matcha, with cream and caramelized sugar. Mm -hmm. I like it, except for the whipped cream part. <laughs> I also found a Hello Kitty store which offers some cute and unique products in a traditional Asakusa style. Although we wanted to enjoy the view of the famous Skytree building, we found the prices a bit high, and since we plan to visit Shibuya Sky in the next few days, we decided to find an alternative, which is totally free and offers a beautiful view of the city. This view can be seen completely free from the 8th floor of the Asakusa Culture Tourist Information Center which is located right in front of the Kaminarimon entrance. I went to celebrate my birthday at Rakutenchi building, which offers a variety of restaurants, delicious food and drinks. Sorry about the vertical shots, I was trying to enjoy myself as much as possible. Thank you so much for joining me, I hope you enjoyed and please remember to subscribe for new videos coming soon around Japan. See you next time!